What's good guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on the 2002 uh, Chevy Avalanche. Um, the problem is not on the brake lines, it turns out it's somewhere else. So I'll explain to you guys everything that's going on. Cue the end. All right, so basically um, I bought the expensive brake line. Uh, I got my buddy Mitch behind the, uh, behind the camera. I'm gonna link his Instagram. He probably don't want y'all following him on Instagram, but y'all do it anyway to piss him off. And make sure y'all like and comment on all his pictures. But uh, basically, um, basically, I bought that expensive brake. It wasn't expensive, it was $70. So I bought that. Let me see, Mitch, if we can actually get a little view of it. All those plastics on the ground just show the plastic. So all that plastic in the corner right there. Yeah, all that is pointless. <laughs> all that is for no reason. Basically, I still, I put fluid in the brake reservoir because uh, it was low and basically um, came back the next day and it was still holding fluid, but the pedal still goes to the ground. So that shows you that without any brake fluid being anywhere on the ground and still having a spongy brake, that means that your brake master cylinder is no good. So there's nothing leaking uh, on the brake master cylinder, but you still got the spongy pedal. So these things, the internals, the seals will, will collapse, they'll wear, and they'll, seep, they'll, they'll leak inside, letting air in, which will still decompress your um, system. So I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna go ahead and swap this out. I have a new one that I bought off Amazon and we're gonna go ahead and get this changed out. So time-lapse time. Uh, so you can see I got the old uh, brake master cylinder in there. Um, if you look, you can see there's like some crud. Like there's a whole bunch of crap in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean all this out real quick with a shop rag. And uh, then I'll install the new one, which is brand new. So I'm going to let you guys, I guess, see me clean it. I'm going to clean out all that gunk. And then I'm just going to go ahead and install the new brake master cylinder. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so as you can see, we got the new one in. Um, brand new, looks good. I got this on Amazon for like $43. It's an aftermarket part. Um, I figured I'd wanna, I didn't wanna spend, I think some of them are like $160, $170, and this not for sure be the issue, even though I'm pretty sure, if I can zoom out, there we go. Even though I'm pretty sure after checking everything else, there are no leaks underneath, this was the problem. So I got that set up. Uh, let me take you guys and show you guys the old one. So this was the old one, man. And uh, you guys can see it's pretty gnarly, man. It's it's This thing is probably original equipment. This is probably original equipment right here. And uh, it's pretty messed up. So, and you can see all the dirt, um, all the dirt and gunk in there. All that stuff will get in and mess your brake line up, man. And overall, you want to be careful with brake fluid. A brake fluid will make you go blind. If that stuff gets in your eyes, you'll lose your vision. So all that black stuff, and this is actually some of the fluid that I pumped out. Look at that. Your brake fluid is supposed to look like water. It's supposed to have the same uh, transparency as water. Not like this. That's a better way to put it in proper context because it looks like it's a lot darker over here than it does when you hit it with some light. So all of this stuff will cause uh, wear in your brake system. You don't want all this crap in there, all this dirt and debris. That'll that'll mess up your brake line. So, got that in, got all this crap out of there. I'm actually getting ready to flush all the. Uh, as you guys can see, I got a lot of brake fluid over here. I'm getting ready to flush all the dirty fluid that came through uh, here out of my system. So you guys saw that I did not air bleed the uh, or bench bleed the master cylinder. So the master cylinder itself has a lot of air in it. So I have to bench bleed. I have to bleed this uh, on here, which is relatively easy. I can do it by myself. It's going to take a while, but that's how it is. When you're bleeding brakes on your own, it takes a while. So almost failed. Jesus. So next step um, is to I'm going to let this sit for a little bit so I can check and make sure there are no leaks. And then I'm going to start bleeding the master cylinder. Now we're gonna try to see if we uh, we got a little bit of play in the brakes uh, in the brake still, so it could be still be a little bit more air uh, in the master cylinder. But I know there's gonna be air in the lines. But we're gonna see if we got because this car had no brakes. We're gonna see if we got something. Got brakes. Just want to show you guys that it did work. We do have brakes. We got some leaks going on. Uh, some of them are fuel. It doesn't seem like it's a. Uh, uh oh, cinnamon's barking at the neighbors. Doesn't seem like it's brake fluid. So here it is. It's no longer hiding in the garage. It's out and about. So there you go. Okay. So as you guys see, it turns out it was the master cylinder. Um, I have to. We we do have brakes. We went from not having any type of brakes to having some type of brakes, and that's major. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not perfect. I think because of A, the brake fluid is, I didn't get out all the brake fluid. I hurt myself, so I'm like not even supposed to be doing this. Christina's going to kill me. But I didn't get out all this bad brake fluid. <clears throat> and uh, I didn't do that. And I didn't bleed, uh, bleed it off either in the lines because I'm pretty sure there's some air in there too. But that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, next video, hopefully I'm going to be able to get Matt from Just Wrench It out here. We got a fuel leak towards the, the fuel line. I think it was uh, sliced when somebody was installing it. So it's leaking some fuel. Um, hopefully Matt can come out and help me with that. If not, I'm going to have to try to thug it out on my own. But that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Follow me on Instagram at Black Zeus Garage. Link is in my description. And uh, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So uh, remember, three letters, BZG. I'm out.